Grading log footage in Adobe Premiere. Someone recently asked me to do a quick tutorial on how I grade log footage in Adobe Premiere. So let's get started. Note, when you shoot log footage, you should try to record it at the camera's best setting with low compression. If a video clip is too compressed, it will become noisy in post. It's also a good idea to try and expose it properly. First, I'm going to launch Adobe Premiere. Next, I'll start a new project by clicking New Project. I'll call this Grading Tutorial. I then like to tell Adobe to save my project in a predetermined folder by clicking Browse and then navigating to the right folder. In this case, a folder I created previously on my external Thunderbolt drive called Grading Tutorial. I'll also set the scratch disks to the same location by clicking on the scratch disk tab and navigating to the same folder. I like to keep everything together and organized, but that's completely up to you. Next, I'll press OK. This opens my project. I am in the editing layout to import my footage, I'll simply go to File, then Import, and navigate to my raw footage, then press Import. Next, I'll create a new sequence by going to File, New Sequence. For grading log, I like to use a 10-bit codec, so I'll pick 4K 23.976. DNX HR HQX. This matches my footage. The X stands for 10 bit. You can name your sequence in the sequence name box by typing it. I'll leave it sequence 1 and press OK. Next, I'll open my raw footage folder and drag my three log clips onto the timeline. If you look at the first log clip, You'll notice that it's quite flat and doesn't have much color. That's a good thing. Your camera shot the footage this way to try and capture the most dynamic range possible, as much detail in the shadows and highlights as possible. I'll then click on the Effects tab and navigate to Lumetri Color. It's in the following path, Video Effects, then to the Color Correction folder, I'll drag and drop the Lumetri color effect onto my first clip in the timeline. Next, I'll go up to Window, Workspaces, and choose Color. This is the best workspace for color correction. On the top of the upper left window, I'll click on the Lumetri Scopes tab so that I can view my scopes. I'll see my Lumascope, a good tool for adjusting levels. Next, I'll go over to the Lumetri color controls on the top right of the screen. First, I'll add my basic log to Rec. 709 LUT. All camera manufacturers make basic LUTs for their cameras that shoot log. Other creative LUTs are available on the web. I'll click on the Basic Correction tab. Then, under Input LUT, I'll navigate to the LUT I want to use by clicking Browse. This V-Log to V709 LUT was created by Panasonic for the Vericam and the EVA1. You'll see right away that our flat looking log shot became more contrasty and colorful. If you're happy with this look, you're done grading. Let's manipulate it further for an even more saturated and contrasty look. If we feel like the colors are off in our shot, we can use the WB selector, the white balance selector, if we have a white object in our scene. I will click on the white part of this house that is in direct sunlight. The image didn't change a whole lot because I nailed the white balance in camera. You can cool down or warm up a shot using the temperature slider. I'll warm this up to five toward the orange side. Next, I can adjust exposure if I over or underexpose my shot. I feel pretty good leaving this setting alone. 
Using my scopes, I'll slide my whites control until the peak on my scope hits 90, around 35. I'll then adjust my black slider to the left so my darkest shadow hits around zero on the scope, around minus 11. Note, if your shot does not contain black shadows and white highlights, let's say it was just a shot of a person in a gray walled room, you would not need to push your white and black levels as far as we are pushing them now. I'll then adjust the saturation slider to the right to add more color to the shot, around 160. Next, I'll click on the Creative tab and increase Vibrance to 20 for a little more color pop. I will also go to the Sharpen slider and add a little sharpness. I think 10 looks good. Next, I'll go to the Curves tab and add a midpoint and pull it down and to the right to give the entire image more contrast and more richness in the midtones. Finally, I'll go down to the Vignette tab and change the amount from 0 to minus 0.5. This will give a dark circular border around our image which will draw the viewer's eye to the center of the screen. The key is to keep trying different settings until you get a look that you like. You may hate the look that I just created. That's okay. By all means, come up with your own. Be creative and have fun. Base your look on the needs of your story. If I click on the Effect Controls tab on the upper left screen, I can right click on my tweaked Lumetri color effect and save it as a preset. I'll call this Grading Tutorial CC and then click OK. This preset will now be saved in the Presets folder in the Effects tab in the lower left window. I can then drag and drop this preset onto the other two clips on my timeline as a grading starting point. Be sure to render your graded clips at the highest quality to keep your images as noise free as possible. If you liked my tutorial, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it.